Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cool Banker, Dean Harper Realtors. Well, today I'm in the community of uh, Lake Valley Estates in the area of Lavernia. I really like this place. If you're looking for a peaceful place to live, this builder is building a house on a two and a half acre lot. You're only about a 30 minute drive from San Antonio and New Braunfels, Texas. This area is known for relaxation, got horses, Believe it or not, there's no HOA in this community at all because I do get some clients who really do not like HOAs. And if you're one of those folks, you've got to check out this house. This is a four bedroom, three bath house. It does have a little apartment type thing upstairs. I'll show you that in a little bit. But anyways, uh, enough of hearing me. Oh, one more thing. I got to introduce the listing agent, Miss Ceci Correa. Crary. Crary. She is the listing agent, so I definitely appreciate her bringing me out here to help promote this house. I want to say hi, Miss Sessie. Hello. Well, they can't see you on camera there. There she is. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and begin the tour out front. All right, yes, it is raining out here in Lavernia. It's a wet day in Texas, but I've been wet before and I'll get wet again. That's just what I do. But I do love the dark uh, three-dimensional shingles that are gonna be on the roof. A lot of stonework is gonna be put on the front of this house. It's gonna be an absolutely beautiful house once it's all said and done. But uh, there's Miss Ceci, the listing agent over there. They would not mind if this house gets sold before it's completed. So that's why we're doing this video of it. But just look around, this is a quiet, very peaceful area. Like I said before, low tax rates. Um, the neighbors, they got some goats and chickens and stuff like that. So if you're looking for a place that you can have that freedom to do those things that you want, this is definitely something you want to look at. Sassy, what's the name of the builder again? ESI. ESI is the name of the builder. They've been building for quite a while but uh they kind of build houses like this so i'm happy to promote builders that do little things like that all right let's head on inside and uh show you what this house is looking like at this stage of the construction all right we're now at the front door i had to walk through the garage because they haven't got the steps up here just yet but i do want to point out that lavernia is known for it's like soft sandy soil out here once again great for horses but you can get a really good look of that what the roof looks like and the rock that's coming up and if you haven't hit that like button yet go ahead and do that that does help my algorithms but i'm going to come in the front door you come into what will be the main living space so lots and lots of living space here they're going to have a beautiful granite countertop up here eventually um, first time i like to do videos of a house under construction is at the sheetrock stage because it can get kind of a feel for what the house is looking like without having to do a lot of guesswork, maybe a little bit of guesswork. But this is gonna be your kind of formal dining room slash kitchen nook area. You're gonna have all sorts of, um, this is an electric community, notice no gas pipe coming through there. But you're gonna have your pantry over on this side. So nice a little linear style pantry there. Your built-in refrigerator, so you definitely want to make sure you got the right measurements for your refrigerator and have it fit in there. You got the water line already. This is going to be going to the master bedroom. It's gorgeous, but we'll show that a little bit later. But first, we're going to show off the secondary bedrooms. Uh, they got kind of a, they're going to be putting built-ins in here for like your entertainment space, lots of outlets, just a little coat closet there. But you're going to have two bedrooms off on this wing of the house. This one's gonna have a nice little tray ceiling up top, a really decent sized bedroom, and kind of what I call the little mini walk-in closets in this bedroom. So lots and lots of storage space in there. And you're gonna, the, these two bedrooms on this side will be sharing this bathroom. Here's what the bathroom looks like. And as I'm filming it, it is late July, 2024. But you can see you have two vanities. So if you've got kiddos, uh, they don't have to fight each other for the sink. But yeah, you're gonna have uh, your tub shower combination. I really do like this little arch feature that they're putting up there. It's gonna be really nice. And there's where the toilet's gonna be. And the other bedroom on this side, real similar to the first bedroom on this wing of the house. Tray ceilings, your windows looking out of this two and a half acre lot. And we'll show you that in just a second. But also, wow, check out this closet space. 
lots and lots of closet space in here as well. All right, back to the main living area because I do want to show you what the outside looks like. And it is really kind of a blank slate out here for what you want to do. I lost Sessie somewhere around here. Oh, there she is, she's following me. All right, checking out this backyard space. Like I said, the neighbors are there. They got their goats and stuff. So you will have, hear some goats in the morning. Me personally, I do not mind that. One of the things I do care about is where the sun is setting at night. Cause if you're not familiar with Texas, it's summertime right now. And I like to have a little cocktail in the evenings. And I like to do that on my back porch. But the sun setting uh, west is kind of this way on the front of the house, which is ideal for providing you that shade on your back porch. So you got nice two and a half acres out here. You can really do anything you want to with it. If you want to put a pool out here, horses out here, goats out here, plant a few more trees. If you don't like the way that house looks next door, hey, throw some trees up. But they are going to be doing some, they got to do some... Uh, drainage correction there you can see the water pulling up but they're they're, they're going to be doing that that's part of the process of building a house but uh yeah lots and lots of space out here the drive up out here was just absolutely gorgeous i do love this area a lot um the current asking price what's the current asking price right now Seven hundred fifty thousand. about 750 which is really nice price if you're looking for like two and a half acres on a place to put a horse at with a really nice house on it. Um, let's go ahead and head upstairs and I'll show you this little mini apartment thing that's up here. They would, if you did have like that, well, to be honest now, nowadays, you're talking about like that 25 year old who can't afford the house of their own just yet because prices and interest rates are insane. They can stay up here to save some money because you've got a nice little spot right here if you want to have them have their own little living room space. They'll have their own bathroom with a tower shub tub combination. This, they will be putting a door on it uh, eventually. It's what I like to call the little Texas basement. We don't have power just yet, but there's a lot of boards down here. Easy access to your AC vent, so you can store your Christmas decorations and stuff, but don't go too crazy. All right. Back to this little mini apartment. <clears throat> you have this wood, what I would use as a bedroom for them. Lots of light. I do like the little A-frame ceilings up there, but they're gonna have a decent sized closet as well. So very nice. So yeah, they would have to come through the main door, but this is a perfect place for that 25 year old or something to make sure they can save up a little money or if you want to be a responsible adult, adult uh, charge your kid rent. That's a great way to teach them lessons that nothing is free in this world. All right, let's head on back downstairs. All right, we're downstairs because if you've been watching my video for a while, you know, I just don't like videoing myself walking downstairs. Kind of a safety thing and a waste of time. All right, coming over to this side, this is the garage. So you will have a two car garage. We've got some doors out here right now. A little bonus storage space and um, water heater and per Sessie, the listing agent, they, the builder is providing it's a water softener included with the price of this house, which that can save you a lot of money because shoot, if it does some research, those are not cheap. We've got your laundry room. This is a really cool size laundry room. You've got your uh, dryer, washer set up over there. It looks like they got a plumb for a sink. And another little storage space, perfect spot if you're looking to have a, uh, some brooms or a little uh, vacuum cleaner stuck up in there. But here's the master bedroom. Once again, you got your tree ceilings. They, I'm pretty sure they'll put a fan up there. But if they don't, it's going to be blocked for a fan anyways. Lots and lots of light, plenty of space in this room. But check out this bathroom. This is a huge mud in set shower. You can see they've already kind of cut it into the foundation. That's what we mean by mud inset. So plenty of space in there. Ooh, it's gonna have a rain shower up above. So that's always super cool to have two different shower heads. You have one on the wall and then the rain shower there. Very super cool. They're gonna have a big old soaking tub there. 
with uh, plenty of light coming in. Now, if you don't want to put blinds up or something, I might recommend you go to the gym a little bit. So if your neighbors are trying to sneak a little peeky peek, you're, you're proud of what you got. All right, you got your water closet gonna be over here. Plenty of space for everything you wanna do. So super nice. Speaking of nice, check out this closet. Um, to solve some arguments of uh, who's got the neater side of the cl neater closet, this is kind of split up within like two different sides. So of course there's gonna be racks in here eventually. We're still just at the sheetrock and painting stage, but you can have two different sides of the closet. Very nicely, plenty of space in here for each individual. And this can be your kind of like brains hub where all your ethernet cables and all that stuff come in. And if you saw my walk through with the uh, pre-sheet rock inspector, he toted that, touted that as a really good thing not having that on an exterior wall just for extra insulation. I don't think I mentioned there's gonna be two vanities on this side and we've got plenty of lights coming for there. But yeah, this is a really nice house and I do love the town of Lavernia. It is definitely a growing area. More and more people are moving out here, especially when they come to the San Antonio or New Braunfels area and they get kind of sticker shocked on how much things cost. So getting two and a half acres with a, uh, what's the square footage on the house? 2639. 2639 square foot house for about 750. That's a pretty hell of a deal. And if you decided to jump on this house at its current stage, you would have the option to be able to pick out like your lighting fixtures and some of the other stuff, uh, other finishes. So this is a great time to pull the trigger to jump on this deal right now because you can get a chance to like, kind of customize it to what you like. All right, that's gonna complete the tour of this house out in Lavernia. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I can represent any potential buyer because Ceci's the listing agent. So she just informed me there are gonna be some builder incentives that are gonna be on here, but they're still working that out right now. But if you like this video, hit that like button. Of course, I want to subscribe to my channel. But most importantly, if you know someone moving to the Texas area, especially if they got horses or want some goats, check out this house come by and just reach out to me i'll happy to schedule a showing through ceci and uh, show off this house um all right if you got any questions you know how to contact me all my contact information will be on the final slide and in the description box all right take care now bye